How do we experience the world? How do we make sense of it? Measure it, construct it, and understand our position in it. A controversial scientist, Ian McGilchrist, has developed a radical theory about how our brain interprets the world. Ian McGilchrist, he's a psychiatrist and author of The Master and His Emissary, The Divided Brain and the Making of the Western World. Two hemispheres have styles, takes, if you like, on the world. They see things differently, they prioritize differently, they have different values. McGilchrist claims that the left hemisphere of the brain is gradually colonizing our experience of the world with potentially disastrous implications. A way of thinking which is reductive, mechanistic, has taken us over. We behave like people who had right hemisphere damage. It's made us enormously powerful. It's enabled us to become wealthy. But it's also meant that we've lost the means to understand the world. His revolutionary theory has attracted prominent supporters worldwide, comparing him to Freud and Darwin. I think The Master of the Hemisphere was possibly one of the most important books I've read. The idea that there is a distinction between those two perspectives seems to me correct. Um, and I see it all the time in my own field of clinical psychology. I kind of had one revelation after another. I mean, it just explained an incredible number of things that I've always been slightly puzzled about. But some scientists think he's a heretic. It's a fantastic book. It's a fantastic book that I don't believe in. The brain is as mechanical as clockwork. A famous English physicist said that. Let's just get over that. Now McGilchrist is on the road invited to speak about his view of the brain and society. Could the problems of the modern world be influenced by an imbalance in the human brain? And what does that imply about our future? For Ian McGilchrist, the problem is not only bad politics or a warped economic system. The problem is inside our modern brain. Thank you.